Welcome back to Trife PH, our Philippines channel. We are still in hybrid mode since Tyler's back in the US, but in today's video, you will join me as I show you how I renewed my American passport here in the Philippines. After many unfortunate circumstances, this actually led me to overstaying my visa here in the Philippines. So I will also show you what the penalties are like. Will I be deported? Is this the end of Trife PH? To start this video though, I will be making a visa run to Malaysia to ensure that I have a full two month time frame to renew and receive my passport. Let's quala this fracker. I don't know about you, the Philippines is looking a bit different today. All right, since Minnesota, back where Tyler is right now, is the land of corn, I got myself a a corn pizza thing. So let's try this bad boy. Mm, that's very delicious. Howdy fellows. As you can tell, I'm not in the Philippines. I'm just here for a visa run in Malaysia quick. Guys, I lied. I'm not in Malaysia. I'm in the US. See? They have the US flag. What the heck? That thing's gotta be at least five feet tall. Another day here in KL. Just been chilling around a bit. Oh! What? Bench review! As you see here, we have a nice complimentary safety design of screws hanging out just in case you would want some extra safety when you sit. The nice decay wood finish architecture. Complimentary snacks. And now it's time for the sit test. Hmm. It's very nice. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Big leaf. At a pillar moment, at moment, meow, meow. ant moment, monkey moment, otter moment, turtle moment, oh. squirrel moment, monarch moment, deer moment. I made it back to mini Stonehenge. If you watched our Malaysia series because you're an epic sick nasty OG viewer, then you'll know about the mini Stonehenge. If you didn't, go watch it. Don't worry, I'll be back in the Philippines in a bit. Oh, hey guys, I'm back in the Philippines. My passport's full, so now I am renewing my passport. So I'm here at Robinson's Galleria. It's a pretty nice mall. It's pretty cool. Uh, but they have an LBC that ships to the embassy. Apparently only certain ones do. The dang fee for the passport is so expensive. You have to pay $130 for that thing. And then like 200 pesos to ship it there. Very nice. I ran out of dang pages. It's very unfortunate. At least there's some beautiful flowers here. That's all that matters in life. And Toys R Us. While Isaac waits for his passport, I figured I'd tell you guys a little bit about my experience when I had to renew my passport in the Philippines. Renewing your passport in a foreign country no matter where, is always going to be a challenge. You have to do it through the embassy. So I did it through the embassy in Manila, just like Isaac did. You have to send it in. You cannot bring it to the embassy. You have to send it in. And you have to send it in through specific carriers. I remember I, did, I tried to go to SM North. I tried to go to Trinoma. And then finally I went to Cubao, went to a few places. And finally I found a place that would let me send my passport to the embassy. Apparently the embassy just doesn't allow anybody to send them mail, which I mean, it's probably a good thing, but it makes it a lot more annoying when you need something for real. So anyways, I sent mine in, I believe it took four weeks before I got it, cost $160. With our situation back then, we were living at MRT Communing, Victoria Station 1. Getting mail to that place was not easy at all. You always had to line it up with like the carrier because they, weren't allowed to actually go into the lobby and have it wait there. So we always had to line it up perfectly with the delivery driver, which never ever works well because the delivery drivers are frequently late and frequently say, I'm on my way, I'm almost there. And then you're sitting there for 40 minutes and they are definitely not there. And at that point we were daily vlogging literally every single day we were heading into downtown, across Quezon City, into Makati or something. We were vlogging constantly back then. This was 
fall 2022. We were daily vlogging back then. We cannot do that. There's a reason we don't do that anymore because it's insanely difficult to make decent quality content every single day. It was definitely affecting our motivation and we felt our content was being deprived because we were trying to make as much as possible to get ahead instead of making stuff we wanted to make. But that's not about that. That was just our situation then. So we we're already in the kicker. And then I had to try to line up this delivery with this guy when I didn't know when he was coming. I didn't have a tracker or anything for this thing. I basically just got a text at one point. It was like, your package is coming. Be ready at this time. So I was, and I got it. It was a stressful process because we did want to do things in the Philippines at this point. We had a bunch of people being like, why don't you leave Manila? Why don't you go to the provinces? It was annoying. And we weren't really able to leave because I didn't have my passport and you don't really want to travel around the country without your passport because who knows what the heck's going to happen. It was a stressful time, but when I got it, everything worked out. And that's the process of doing something crazy like renewing your dang passport in the Philippines. You have to renew visas every month. That's not fun either, but at least it's a little simpler now that you can just do it online. Anyways, I think it's been about two months now there in the Philippines and let's see if he's got his passport yet. Oh my gosh, my new passport is here. After almost two months it arrived, it's just like one week before it has been two months. And uh, that's not good because I have to renew my visa. So I'll let you know how that situation goes with renewing my visa. And it's the ACR card renew too, because my ACR card's expired. So hopefully they can process all of that within the time period. I'm really running low on time, but let's see how my new passport looks. Oh, they changed the look of it. It's yellow now. That's weird. Well, thank you guys for watching this passport unboxing. No, no, no. Let's open this up. Wow, he's very happy, just like me. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's the first time I've seen this logo in like a long time. Mine's all worn out, and Tyler's new passport's even worn out. My old passport was also in there. Let me show you this. Oh, yeah. Can't even read what the heck it is. Now that's epic. That will be gone in, very, uh, in a little bit. I got the thick book, extra pages, you know, because the last one ran out and that's the whole reason I had to renew it. So basically my overall thoughts on the process, it's not too hard if you follow the online steps. The LBC that's here in grass doesn't work for it. So I had to go to Robinson's, it's Galleria specifically. They only use like three or four different service partners. And then when they ship it back to you, they use Air 21 and they you can't track it at all. So you have no clue when it's coming. It's been shipped shipping for like three days now even though it just has to travel from manila to quezon city so that's very interesting but overall it was pretty simple it just took a long time and it's super expensive all right it's time to go renew my acr card or renew get a new one i don't even know what it is i'm just extending my visa past the extra 29 days you can get when you first land the country after that you have to get an acr card so i'm going to go over the process of that and i'm also going to show you what it's kind of like after getting a new passport when i entered the country i entered with this passport so that's all the information and now i have this passport so i'm going to see if they want me to change anything or what happens if they even need the new one i don't know let's go to SM Nor and X. It's closed today. There's a typhoon going on. See you tomorrow. Cool. And now I'm back. Let's see if this tracker's open. Most of the stuff in the mall is open, so it's gotta be. Uh, guys, the office is closed again. Everything in the mall was open, but it was closed again. And um, I don't know what to do. I'm running out of days. I've emailed the SM North office, and I've emailed the Bureau of Immigration main office, and I tried calling them multiple times. First time, they just randomly hung up. Second time, they also randomly hung up. And then the third time, it said it would take a while and then I would be connected to an operator and then I got connected to one and they're like, uh, never mind. Uh, please leave a message after the tone. That's my current situation. We'll see what happens. Oink. Whoa. It's time to try again. It's Friday. The last day I can do it before my visa expires. Let's go see. It's open. Let's see if they yell at me. Well, it's official, guys. I'm going to be overstaying my visa in the country, so I guess we're going to see what happens with that. I went to the office. The people were much nicer. Like, there used to be some people that worked there before, and they weren't very nice. The people there were very friendly, but I just let them know that I had a new passport, and apparently you have to go to the main office in order to switch your visa stamp, which I did not know. I couldn't find that online, but I probably didn't do enough research, I guess. Sadly, it's already 4 o'clock, so I'm not going to be able to get to the main office in time to switch it, and it's Friday. 
by the time it comes around Monday where I can go again, I'm going to be overstaying the visa. So I will have to pay a fee. Well, I'll let you know what that fee is when we go to the main office on Monday. See you then. <clears throat> it's Monday now, and I have to head to downtown Manila area to go to the main borough of immigration. Let's see how this goes. There's so many things that could go wrong, and every time we have to go to Manila at all, it takes forever. So I really hope I can figure this all out today. I have officially overstayed my visa, so I'm going to see what type of fees go on with that. I believe it's only 500 online if it's searched up, but then you have to get the visa after. But we'll see. They always like to throw their extra little express lane certification, legal research, uh, blah, 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 in there. So let's go to the office. I'm not sure what happened to the post office behind me. It looks like it burned down or something, but me and Tyler came here like around last year to try and mail something. That's pretty crazy. I'll have to look up and see what happened. All right, so I've turned in my, all my paperwork necessary to file for the transfer of my visa to my new passport. Uh, basically needed a photocopy of both passports of the stamp and of my visa extension if I had one, which I did. And they cost 25 per photocopy and printing, so that's excellent. Bit expensive, you know. Filled out a form, brought that all up to their place for it, and then I have to return after an hour, so I'll let you know what happens after that. First impressions of the process, it's very complicated, it's very busy in there, and no one even looks up to try and help you. You have to like really go up and ask, and then they'll still just be like, so, not, not as friendly as the SM North office right now. But yeah, this is the process so far. Time for some food. Guys, you will not believe this. They put yum burger sauce on my burger steak. All right, now it's time to extend my expired visa. Look at that fracker. Overall, a uh, total time of about four hours. It took about an hour to get here. So five hours and then it'll be an hour back, heading back to the condo. So that's been the journey. I'll tell you a little bit more when I get back to the condo. Oh, hey, I'm not back in the condo yet, but I, I was just gonna go check out the Pacific River Esplanade, Esplanader area, and apparently it recently flooded due to the typhoon, and it's still been flooded. It's been like uh, quite a few days since all the flooding happened, and it's still flooded there, because I guess the Pacific River is high, very high. So it's completely closed down. Like The guards told me to get out of there. That's very interesting. I wanted to see what that's like, but. Maybe it got severely damaged due to the typhoon. All right, time to head back now. It is 6.30 now, left at about 1.30, so yeah, totaling about five hours for the whole process. The visa stamp tr transfer process was pretty simple. It was just hard to figure out, and I already showed the requirements for that, but you just have to go up to the third floor after you're done getting all your requirements, and then hand them your passport, and then you just have to wait an hour, and you get the stamp transferred. The stamp transfer was free. They never asked for any money, or maybe it wasn't free, and they just forgot to charge me. That I was surprised by. This is the stamp transfer in my empty passport now. This is what it would look like. It takes up a whole fracking page. The whole reason I needed a new passport in the first place was because the dang pages were full. And then after that, it was time to deal with my overstay just to refresh from what happened earlier in the video. I had to get a new passport and it took forever to come. And then after I got that, a typhoon happened and they shut the government offices down. So I overstayed my visa by two days and then I had to go renew it there. And since I've been in the country already for two months, I have to have my ACR card to extend past two months and my ACR card's expired. So I also had to renew that at the same time. So the grand total for just the ACR card fee and the two months and my overstay fee was 7,000 whatever it says on the screen here pesos and then there was an extra service of like a thousand something for 
the express stuff because I had to get it today. So totaled out to 8,810 pesos for everything. Surprisingly, the overstay fee is only 500 pesos per month, I believe. I don't know how it goes as you stay further and further. It's just 500 pesos per month you overstay. So it's not that bad compared to the fact that the ACR card is so expensive. Also, maybe someone can explain this to me, but there was an ACR card renewal fee on the receipt and there is also the charge for the ACR card, but it's making it seem like since I already had an ACR card, I have to pay extra to renew it, even though they just gave me a new one. Unless if there's a different fee on the new ACR card one, that's more than that. But it's weird that there's a renewal fee, even though they just gave me a completely new one. But anyways, that was Isaac's bureaucracy journey today. The beerers are beering today. I gotta say, after everything that went down, it went way better than I expected. And it cost about what I thought it would, but still expensive as nuts. So, thank you for watching this journey. Luckily, I am not deported and blacklisted from this country, and it is not the end of Trifate PH. I'll see you in the next one, we got plenty of stuff coming. Sorry it's been so long since our last video.